So in today's scan, we'll just have a look with other uh, normal anatomy and also some pathology. Now this is one of the very interesting cases when the patient presented with blocked nose. This is a CT sinus plane or CT PNS. This is the coronal scan and coron or coronal section. So amongst the all axial, coronal and sagittal scan, it is really nice to start with the coronal scan. What you can see as we are going from front to back, that is anterior to posterior, the first landmark is the nasal tip, okay? As I said before, black is air, white is bone, anything in between is a soft tissue. As we go posteriorly, the first bony landmark on the forehead that we see is the frontal sinus and the anterior wall of the frontal sinus, okay? This is the nasal spine. This is the cartilaginous part of the nasal septum. As we go further in, we can see a large aerated frontal sinus. We do not see any septations in the initial cut. As we go further in, we can see that there is a really interesting finding that is a septation on the left frontal sinus and the right frontal sinus is absent, okay? Further, you can see there is a slight deviation of the septum to the left side, that's okay. This is the beginning of the orbit, the eyelids are clearly seen. The next thing that you can see is the beginning of the inferior turbinate. Now, as you know, the inferior turbinate has got more bony component and as we go to middle and superior, the bony component decreases and the mucosal component increases. The inferior turbinate does provide an important landmark for many structures. Number one, you can see the nasolacrimal duct entering in the undersurface of the inferior turbinate. Going further, it's beautifully seen that the right frontal sinus is completely absent really interesting that's the beginning of the middle turbinate and this is the inferior turbinate the next important thing that you can see over here is the lacrimal sac we proceed to the go more posteriorly and the next interesting finding that we can see is a complete opacification of the left maxillary sinus as i said black is air white is bone anything in between is a soft tissue what we should have expected over here is a sinus, like how it's seen on the right side. So what's this? This is the infra that is below the eye orbital foramen from where the nerve comes out. Let's go further in. Very interesting to see the middle turbinate is thin and the lamella of the middle turbinate is, has an air cell. This is the first air cell that you see. Look over here, a big egg cell sitting on the maxillary sinus. As we go further in, the first thing that you see is something abnormal. Always look at the normal symmetry. So the, considering the right side is normal, there's something unusual on this side. So what is the unusual thing on this side? Firstly, look at the floor. The right side is the normal floor. There is absent of the floor of the maxillary sinus. Also, the next thing that you see is, can you see the root of the tooth, which is, which is missing? And this possibly has given rise to this cyst. You can see the communication. As you go further in, you can see this whole lesion, a cystic lesion is occupying the whole maxillary sinus and it is actually blocking the sinus. So these patients can present with facial pain or facial fullness or even runny or watery discharge from the left side. I'm sorry, I should say mucoid discharge, not watery discharge. The, wa the mucoid discharge can be because of the blockage, you see. As we go further in, what we see is a compressed osteomyatal complex. I would like to mention is can you see 
the middle turbinate on the right side is taking a turn. Let's go back some scans anteriorly and then we'll find a difference. You see over here the middle turbine is attached to the roof and its direction changes. It goes on the lamina. This turning or it becomes horizontal that is the basal lamella and posterior to that you can start seeing air cells which will be the posterior ethmoids. Look over here the floor of the sinus is almost absent and there is a big cystic lesion. It is compressing everything. Also it has expanded so much that it has decreased the nasal cavity space. Definitely when the patient comes in will present with nose block and on anterior rhinoscopy you will find that there is nothing wrong. So it's always nice to get such kind of patients a scan done. We are going posteriorly. Fairly the anatomy is quite decent, normal, straight septum and nice posterior ethmoidal cell. Going further behind you see that even the sphenoid is quite healthy and nice. I will move to the next scan, the gital section, that is a vertical section of the same patient. And as we are going from left to right, what the first bony landmark identification is are uh, the mastoid air cells. This is really pretty and this is the reason why we say it's honeycomb appearance. Going inside, what we are going to see? Keep on thinking before I reach the site. Okay? This is what I wanted to show. See. Orbit, below the orbit, the same lesion, absent floor. Now imagine you're doing a surgical planning. You have seen the coronal section, you know where to go in. Do you know how behind you want to go? Or you want to plan in what is the chance of injury this is what we want to see the posterior margin that's why this scan is really important the posterior margin there is a decent margin over there so by chance if this cyst gets infected you know what to remove until where to remove and whether it is achievable or not there's a complete absence of the floor there are different techniques of doing the surgery we can use a flap or you can just cover with a uh, buccal mucosa uh, as I'm talking, I moved the scan slowly on the right side. The only reason I wanted to show you the right side was of this absent frontal sinus and to compare the floor of this maxillary sinus. So you have in your mind the absent floor and now this is the presence of the maxillary sinus floor. So probably the patient had this dental extraction and then that led to the fistula if you can say and leading to the cyst formation thank you hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments or any doubts please drop down and i'm more than happy to help and discuss